I'm Dr. Sarah Salter, and I'll be teaching core literature online. Our online course is going to focus on newspapers and magazines published in English from 1700 all the way up until the now. And we will read things like fiction, poetry, advice columns, listicles, essays, exposés, all kinds of stories that are both factual and fictional. Across the course of core literature, we will talk about the ways that fiction and truth fold together in periodicals. We'll think a little bit about Stephen Colbert's notion of truthiness, and we will use methods of literary reading to, to explore the history of serial publications um, in the Western world. I hope you can join me for Core Literature Online. Thanks. Hey there, I'm Professor Murphy, and uh, I'm going to be teaching this uh, class on, uh, on uh, the radical romantics and the, the beats. And so we're going to be using this book here. This is the Poems of Millennium. It's a fabulous piece of work here. And the Portable Beat Reader. And we'll be reading Richard Brodigan's uh, The Hawkline Monster. Not this whole thick thing, but just a, about that much of it. Okay. And then we're going to be reading On the Road by Jack Kerouac. All right, we'll have lots to talk about. I can't wait. Hello, I'm Dr. Farr from the English Department. And this spring, I'll be teaching a course for sophomore literature called Gothic Fiction, Gothic Film, in which we read 18th and 19th century Gothic novels and examine 20th and 21st century Gothic-inspired films. One of the main points of the course is to examine the ways in which recent film draws on centuries-old tradition owing to the Gothic genre. Hello, I'm Dr. Eric Luttrell, and next semester I'll be teaching English 2332, uh, Western World Literature from the Bronze Age to the Renaissance. We'll begin the semester with some of the oldest literature in the world, inscribed in cuneiform on clay tablets as early as 1600 BC. We'll read some of the most famous works of classical literature, such as selections of Homer's Iliad and Odyssey, uh, Virgil's Aeneid. From there we'll move into Northern Europe in the early Middle Ages. We'll read the medieval Spanish epic of El Cid. We'll read some ancient Celtic literature and Arthurian literature from the later Middle Ages. And we'll finish the semester with William Shakespeare's Othello and Hamlet. That's 3,300 years of literature. Our ultimate goal here is not only to understand how past people read and interpreted these stories, but also to understand how narrative shapes the way they and we see the world around us. My name is Kelly Bazayo, and I teach um, Literature and Culture, which is English 2316. Uh, my course, the, the Drone in Literature, uh, asks what is a drone? Is it a robot? Is it an airplane? Is it something else? We think about the emergence of flight in the 20th century, think about what pilots mean to us. Pilots are our heroes, and I think this is something that really troubles us about drones, is that they take our heroes away. So the books that we read, the plays that we read, the movies that we watch, they all ask, what does it mean to be a pilot? And how does that change when the pilot is remote? Hi, I'm Dale Pattison. Uh, I'll be teaching English 2316 Literature and Culture, uh, and the class title is Movement, Migration, and the Imagination. This semester, we're going to be talking about literature that deals with border crossings. I'm interested in the kinds of stories that people bring with them as they move across borders, the kinds of histories they're bringing with them, um, and the experiences. And I'm interested in the connections between the U.S. and Latin America, and how literature gives us ways to deal with the issues that come with these border crossings. <laughs>